Hey guys, so today I'm going to one of the largest fish markets in Tokyo and I started my day off with this tamago egg you'll see at the entrance. It's 100 yen and it was so delicious we came back for seconds. And then we went to the meat skewer section which served A5 Wagyu. Here is the pricing for you guys to have a look at. I think it worked out to be about 45 AUD dollars for one A5 Wagyu skewer. Yes, it was nice but I think this place is really touristy so it might not have been as good as it was previously and then I got this tofu skin wrapped sushi I don't know what the correct name is but it was served um with some salmon sashimi and salmon roe and then I went to the drink machine to get some type of great fizzy drink which was really nice and I'm pretty sure it was under two AUD dollars and then we went to the seafood grilling section as you guys can see here scallops prawns so we got one of the giant shrimps which was about 3500 yen so it works out to be about 40 AUD dollars they grill it for you as well and then i grabbed some abalone to try some scallops and even a king crab leg overall i think that was a little bit overpriced but it was a good experience and we also grabbed some of these fried fish cakes at a different store. This one was, I think, four or five hundred yen, I believe. It's basically a fish cake that's well, wrapped well. in some corn. Uh, fragola. And then we went to yeah. the sweet yeah. section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the mochi was really good at this fish market. I grabbed a chocolate one, and my partner grabbed a strawberry one, and I think it was about five hundred yen per piece. We also grabbed some of the ice cream. Um, I thought this was really, really nice and reasonably priced. It came with the cone and I got a sesame flavor one and my partner got a peach flavor one, which he enjoyed. For dinner, my partner and I decided to pick more of a pricey, fancy restaurant um, just to give Wagyu another go. This whole dinner for us two costed roughly about 28 to 30,000 yen. Often when you're going to fancy restaurants, they tend to serve you more vegetables. For example, we had a really delicious salad here. Often when you're buying other cheaper, affordable meals, they don't tend to give you a lot of vegetables because I think it's more expensive in Japan. So we had an entree with some Wagyu nigiri um, and abalone. The abalone was really fishy to a point where I didn't even eat it. I'm someone that normally really likes abalone, but I was really disappointed at this place. But the Wagyu nigiri was really nice. The next course, they served us with a platter of A5 Wagyu meats. And then we essentially cook it ourselves on the grill. They also gave us an assortment of sauces, which they recommended for each cut of meat. Now, this was the A5 Wagyu sirloin, which is my favorite cut. And then in the next course, they actually give us another bowl of rice meat and egg yolk. You have to pick your favorite cut of meat from the platter, which we picked the sirloin again. This one was really, really tasty. The bowl was quite small, but it was enough to fill me up and keep me content. So the egg yolk was 100% raw. I think it went really well with the rice and the meat. Um, but I think the standout for me would have been the dessert, which was weird considering I paid for an A5 Wagyu set course. But they served the dessert with really nice vanilla ice cream and I think it was a roasted sweet potato or some type of yam, which I really enjoyed. I haven't had sweet potato um, like this before especially in a dessert but I thoroughly enjoyed the dessert so this next place I actually went back to one of my favorite sushi places you basically order off a screen and then the food shoots out via a sushi bullet train I had some salmon some fatty salmon some tuna some otoro some crab meat scallops overall um, this sushi train place my partner and I went to a few times it generally costs under $55 for two people and I find it really worth your money you get huge variety the food's delicious and lots of seafood I think this is worth more than like paying 350 AUD dollars for the previous set course that I had overall the bit that I'm most impressed with is the convenience stores in Japan the food's really delicious and there's huge variety and it's so cheap compared to like the convenience stores in Sydney. If we walk into like a 7-Eleven in Sydney, most of the time the products are really expensive and there's 
nowhere near as much variety when it comes to food. So even the chicken katsus and all, they're roughly about 600 yen, including tax. There's rice bowls with meat and egg. There's um, rice balls. I did end up trying one of the spam ones, which was quite tasty. And the salespeople even microwave your rice balls for you if you like. Here I had like a pizza bun type of thing. It was so delicious. The dough was soft and fluffy. The filling was delicious. My partner and I had that a few times throughout our stay in Japan. And my partner also really liked this katsu pork bowl with egg. I don't remember how much that was, but I probably would have mentioned in one of my other Japan videos. They even have pretty good sushi in the convenience stores. I must admit, it's nowhere near as nice as going to a sushi train in Japan. But for convenience store sushi, I think it's pretty good compared to what we have in Australia. I'm not sure if I went through this haul or not, but I stumbled across the video. So I thought I would just include this in the video and share with you guys. The marinated eggs are my favorite, especially in Japan. I think I purchased it like every second day as a snack. The pork katsu bread was my partner's favorite. It's about 400 yen with tax. The egg and ham sandwiches are divine in Japan. I don't know what they do to it, but it tastes so good. And I really like the fact that they cut the crust off their bread. It just makes it so much more presentable and tasty, in my opinion. And their pastries are so cheap. This one here was like 250 yen, including tax. And this one was about 160 yen, including tax. And this custard puff, I think if I paid for that in Sydney, it would easily cost maybe five or six dollars, four dollars at best. Um, but it also depends on what your exchange rate is when you go to Japan. I think when I went, it was more expensive. Right now is probably a good time to go to Japan because our currency is so strong at the moment. We also went to another sushi place to try. My partner researched this one and it was supposed to be a really good place because it had like 4.6 out of 5 rating. But in my opinion, it wasn't that tasty compared to other restaurants I've been to in Japan and it was much more pricey than the other places as well. And I've got some more convenience store food to show you guys. This was some type of corn dog I think my partner picked up. This one wasn't my favorite, but it was nice to try. It did come with sauce, but I probably wouldn't purchase this one again. It was about 180 yen. And then this type of pork ball skewer, I don't know what it is, but it was okay. And this boss coffee, I noticed it ranges from like a dollar to two dollars in Japan. And I've seen this in like Asian grocery stores in Australia. Um, for about four fifty to about five fifty, so a lot cheaper in Japan. And you can have this hot and cold. Sometimes they'll have it in a little thing that looks like a fridge, but it's actually hot. So it's some type of heating machine. And then they've also got one in the fridge, obviously. So the can is aluminium, so um, it's a little bit hot to handle when you buy the heated version. And I also got these cheese bread balls. I have no idea what it is, but it was delicious. It had a really nice, soft, chewy texture, almost like it was some type of mochi bread. But yeah, it was really good. 